Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. In last lecture, we had started your second unit. And the concept of the topic in second unit, first topic, Fourier transform. Now the uh, next example, new example is here. Find Fourier integral representation of f of x is equal to the function is defined in two intervals it is equal to one when mod x is less than or equal to one when it is equal to zero then mod x is greater than one hence evaluate the integration of zero to infinity sine lambda cos lambda x upon lambda into d lambda and integration of zero to infinity sine lambda upon lambda d lambda okay now the solution for this example Find the Fourier integral representation means you find the inverse Fourier transform for the given function. You to find the inverse Fourier transform, first you change, uh, sorry, to find the inverse Fourier transform, first we have to find out the Fourier transform because to find the inverse Fourier transform, we require Fourier transform. Now to find the Fourier transform, you first check whether it is even function or odd function. Now, here in this function f of x, if we replace that x by minus x, then the function uh, is here, which is equal to 1 when your mod of minus x is less than or equal to 1, which is 0 when mod of minus x is less than 1. So, if we replace x by minus x, the uh, function uh, here, the condition uh, that variable is inside the modulus sign. So there is no change in the function. If we replace that x by minus x, we are getting the same function. And if this is the situation, then in that case, that function is even function. The best example of even function is cos function. In cos function, if we replace x by minus x, means cos of minus x is again cos function, cos x. So if we replace x by minus x and we are getting the same function, then that type of function is even function. So here the same case. If we replace x by minus x, we are getting the same function. So f of x is an even function of x here. Okay. So you find the Fourier cosine transform. If function is even, then in that case we find cosine transform. F suffix c. Suffix c is for cosine transform. And the formula to find the cosine transform is integration of 0 to infinity f of u cos lambda u d u. Now, what is the function f of u? Actually, our function here it is uh, in terms of x. The variable x is here to define the function. So you will just replace that x by u, then you will get f of u. It is equal to, it is defined in two intervals. And the, sorry, one is the point of discontinuity. And the limits for a cosine transform, uh, cosine transform is here, 0 to infinity. So uh, one is the point of discontinuity. So integration will split in 0 to 1 and then 1 to infinity. So in between 0 to 1, when x is less than or equal to 1, the function value is 1. So replace f of u by 1 into cos function as it is cos lambda u du plus. Now from 1 to infinity means when x is greater than 1 and up to infinity, then the function is 0. So second integral 0. Now 1 into cos lambda u integration was 0 to 1 cos lambda u du. Integrate cos function. Integration of cos function is sine lambda u upon lambda. Because variable is here u and constant is here lambda. The integration of cos function is cos uh, sine lambda u upon lambda and the limit 0 to 1. Now upper limit is 1. So uh, here variable is u. So replace that u by 1. So sine lambda upon lambda minus. If we put lower limit 0, sine 0 is 0. So uh, the second term is 0. So the cosine transform is here on the sine lambda upon lambda. Okay. Now here we want the uh, Fourier integral representation means we want the inverse Fourier transform, but the function is even so you find the inverse Fourier cosine transform and the formula is here f of x is equal to 2 upon pi in, into integral integration of 0 to infinity f c lambda into cos lambda x d lambda. This is the formula of inverse Fourier cosine transform. In first lecture of Fourier transform we have discussed the results, the concept of Fourier transform. There were uh, discuss about the formula of cosine transform also. Okay, so here f c lambda f suffix c. Now, what is f c lambda here? Its value is here in this example. The value of f c lambda is here. 
sin lambda upon lambda. So put fc lambda is equal to sin lambda upon lambda into cos lambda x d lambda as it is. Okay. And the, in the formula, the constant term is there 2 upon 5. Okay. Now you find the value of this integration means you transfer this term 2 upon 5 in LHS. If we transfer it here in LHS, it will be 5 by 2 into f of it. We, are, we just rearrange the term and we have this uh, new term. Integration over 0 to infinity sine lambda into cos lambda x upon lambda d lambda is equal to 5 by 2 into f of it. Rearrange the term here. The previous term, we will get this new term here. Okay. Now, our aim is find the inverse Fourier transfer. Inverse Fourier transfer means find the Fourier integral representation of. So, this is the Fourier integral representation of the given function. This is integration of Fourier integral representation of the function and the value of the term integration of zero to infinity sine lambda into cos lambda x upon lambda d lambda is pi by 2 into f of it f of x is the given function okay there is one deduction also that and hence evaluate integration over zero to infinity sine lambda upon lambda d lambda now in this integral we want to remove this cost function if we remove this cost function then we have the value of the integral integration over zero to infinity sine lambda upon lambda now how to remove that cost function here in this Result, how to remove this first function? If its value is one, then uh, we have the value of this integration, integration of zero to infinity sine lambda upon lambda. Now, how to make uh, the value of cost function one? Now, variable is here lambda because integration is with respect to lambda, so we cannot change the variable lambda. The constant term is here x, cos lambda x, x is constant. So if we put x is equal to zero, then the function, this function will be cos zero, if x is zero. You know cos zero is one. So if we put x is equal to zero, cos function is one, cos zero, its value is one. So where the integration, integration of zero to infinity sine lambda upon lambda into d lambda is equal to pi by two into. Now what is function? What is f of zero? So when, when x is equal to zero, function is defined here in two intervals when x is less than or equal to one. Now zero is less than or equal to one and so the function value is one here. Okay. But in this integration, the function value is pi by two into f of x. Now the function value when x is equal to zero is one, this one into this pi by two means the final answer is pi by two. Because the value of the integration is not only f of x, it is equal to pi by 2 into f of x. And when x is equal to 0, f of 0 is 1. When x is 0, the value of function is 1. And so 1 into pi by 2 is pi by 2. So answer is pi by 2. So this is the solution for first example. Find the Fourier integral representation means you find the inverse Fourier transform, and then you will get it. Fourier integral representation that is the meaning. Okay. Now, next example is using Fourier integral representation so that integration was zero to infinity 1 minus cos lambda pi upon lambda into sine lambda x d lambda is equal to we define in two intervals pi by 2 when x is in between 0 to pi, which is 0 when x is greater than pi. Now, using Fourier integral representation, the same thing here, you find the inverse Fourier transform. Okay. Now, to find the inverse Fourier transform, you first find what is the function here. Now, using Fourier integral representation, so that it means this LHS term is your inverse Fourier transform and its value is given here in RHS. Means RHS term is nothing. 